with all of the rhetoric that's out there and all of these rumors that are circulating around, the more I continue to hear about where Tom Brady will be other than New England, I just feel as though he's still going to end up in New England. I, I feel... I feel confident in saying, even though the Schefters and the Darlingtons and all of these guys hear about it, if if he was going to be gone, I feel as though it is not a big story, Rick. So why why are people posing this? Why are people saying they expect that he's going to be someplace else? Why are we hearing that? I think there's a lot of a lot a lot of layers to this, and I think the most relevant layer to this is he can help another team. And these other teams can be helped by Tom Brady. And I don't go any real deeper than that. I get it. Um, Rick, I think back with the Patriots. I think this is a classic game of hardball. Tom's been in the league 20 years. He's got a lot of friends in the media. Um, Belichick's got a lot of people in his corner, a lot of people in the media. I think both teams are just playing hardball with each other. But I don't envision a situation where Tom leaves New England. Can he help some teams? Yes. But just the familiarity just being at home, just the comfort, I think he stays. So you're suggesting that the it's the media that's putting it out no, there. No, I'm not for, suggesting for the media. Benefit. I'm suggesting that both sides are playing hardball with each other. Both people have. It would be like me having a friend and saying, LeVar, this is what I'm thinking. And it would be like you having Will as a friend and saying, Will, this is what I'm thinking. And you guys are both coming from different angles and reporting into the media and causing kind of like this chaos, which we call, or I call, hardball. Right, because there's, there's a lot of friends right now talking, giving their opinions what they think. But... I believe it's either the Patriots or he goes home and retires. And the, the only incentive, I think, for him to come back, mm. there's two franchises with six Super Bowls, right? The Patriots and the Steelers. And he would try to get number seven. Yeah. Other than that, it's like, what's the, what's the point of going somewhere else? For right. what? At that age, it's pointless. So it's either Patriots or go home. Yeah, I, I'm with you in terms of I still believe, in spite of all these reports, not to say that the reports are wrong, but this has to be coming from the agent. Hey, we're available and mm -hmm. letting teams know. Normally, I would hear more teams jumping in and they're not talking to the Patriots. It's a done deal. He's going out. That's how I would read it as a reporter, right? Absolutely. And I mean, but, I... but the reality is, New England can't afford this, can they? they it, this is not Joe Montana moving on to Kansas City well, because you got, you got Steve too. Young right there. Right. right. Understood. But, but, but moving on because they had a backup no succession plan. plan. Right. So for me, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. And how much do you think that the CBA? I don't know if you guys have ever been in a situation where you were free agents. I don't. I don't think the, the CBA, CBA has anything there. to do with this. I think they really? could. I think that you know teams don't lose players that they want to lose. If they really want to keep you, they'll figure it out. It's it's business. But it's like when you're buying that new car or those new pair of shoes, and they're like, oh, if you don't if you don't get it, you know somebody else is interested. You know that's right. that's kind of what the how they're selling. I just time. got a text for a new car that's, that's out. <laughs> My guy said, hey, I got this car, and you want to come get it? Right. It's here today. Might be going tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Jared Stadham. Stidham, that's your backup. <laughs> right. All right, your, your fourth round pick from 2019, this year you're picking 23rd in the draft. Yeah. Nobody's really talking about who is going to succeed uh, Tom Brady. Yeah. I don't see and hear a posture that says we are definitively deciding to move on from Tom Brady. And so for me, as the conversation continues to wear on, and you weigh out all of the positives that Tom Brady being with the, the New England Patriots brings to the table, what that could represent for at least one more season. Yeah. Unless you believe in a deep class full of quarterbacks that you're going to get a guy that either falls to 23rd mm -hmm. or you can make a move to get a little bit higher and get one of those top four guys, what, what is your plan to move away? Is it Andy Dalton? Is it somebody else? And are they a better option than Tom Brady? Um, I think that, you know, there will be some people that will pose the, the kind of like question and say, you know, with Tom's age, is it better to get a stopgap like an Andy Dalton and then get somebody to learn under? But who better to learn under than Tom Brady, the GOAT himself? We also have the situation where the Boston Red Sox just let Mookie Betts go. Are you going to go back to back? And you saw the reaction in Boston. I mean, let's not mistake Boston for being just any old sports town. This is where they revere their heroes. So the idea that Mookie Betts is going to go, and you saw the, 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 the fallout from that, mm -hmm. and now you're going to let Tom Brady go someplace else <laughs> yeah, without a succession it is, plan. It is an emotional town. When I was in school at, at BC, you know, the Red Sox won, City went crazy. Patriots were winning, Bruins were winning, Celtics were winning. When they were losing, you didn't want to go outside because people <laughs> were miserable. So I, I don't think 
the Patriots will make decisions based off how the fans feel. I mean, I remember uh, when they when they lost the regular season game, the last regular season game. I mean, they were, they got booed at halftime to the point where they're just emotional. So they're not they're not going to make a decision based on what the fans feel. Once again, I just feel like he either stays or he's going to go home and retire. I'm gonna push back on that a little bit because again, we had this conversation on the show yesterday, and I thought that there was some validity to this and Bruce Arians really wanting to come after Tom Brady and really try to get him to Tampa Bay and what that could mean for a team that has the type of tools and weapons they have on the offensive side of the ball. I think looking at it from Tom Brady's side of it and not just from the team side of it, this is a great opportunity for Tom Brady if he goes to the right set of circumstances. To do what, though? Well, again, to continue to compete. And if you can go to a team where you can compete and have the opportunity to win and further solidify your greatness as a player, I think his will to compete is still there. And I think that that's why there's a very real chance that even if it is not New England, he takes his talent somewhere else to continue to prove that that talent level is still there. His willingness to win and ability to win is still there. But respectfully, I'm going to agree with you, but I'm going to agree to disagree. Six Super Bowls, 20 years one franchise, I mean, just what's happening in sports world right now with Kobe Bryant passing away, spending his whole entire career with one franchise. I think Tom's way and looking at all of that, but I think at the same time, he wants to be valued. He wants to know that they want him, and there's been right. too much chatter about, you know, is he gonna go, is he gonna stay? Right. Have they offered him, have they not? Have they spoke? Well, who's more valuable, Bill yeah. or Tom, right? Yeah, so I think, you know, I think that hardball, they'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak For Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.